Hello YouTubers and today I will be reviewing the first Doctor and TARDIS set. Now I was originally going to do the fourth Doctor from Pyramids and Mars but from Mr. Biggs for Kit Biggs asked me to do a TARDIS review and I thought right the Lamb Doctor there's um, TARDIS, the inside, the playset version. I will not be doing it yet because it will take quite a while. Well, to do, and I don't particularly have the time because there's other stuff I'm doing. I'm trying to get the fourth Doctor Sonic screwdriver and so and so. So in the meantime, I am doing this review. I'm going to quickly show you um, the box. Because obviously the box is very nice. No more really around it. So, so I'm not going to talk about inscriptions because you'll probably get bored. I got bored watching other people doing them. And you've got a picture on the back from and an earthly child. Bio about the full the first sculptor down here and an earthly child here. So. I thought they would do a bio on the TARDIS. Unfortunately, they haven't. Haven't. And, but, you know, if you will probably already know quite a bit about the TARDIS if you are buying a TARDIS set. So here's the first Doctor's TARDIS. With for the first Doctor. Now I'll do um, the first Doctor in either later in the review or part, or I might do a part two. <coughs> and also, it comes with a very nice background, which is just Totter's Lane. Lane, but I'm not going to talk about the box because you'll get dead, dead bored and probably start to fall asleep. So here is the TARDIS. The first Doctor version. And it's from the pilot episode. Why? Because of the white window frame. Now later it was a blue. Blue but you know I can live with it white I at first it did look a bit worrying for me but I've grown used to it and also it's the St. John's Ambulance service on here as well. well and it's not a sticker it's printed on and I like it the way it's bringing it on rather than just having a whole sculpt pointing outwards with the sticker on because that doesn't particularly look as good. It looks a lot more wooden. I never liked the Max Smith TARDIS. Even the, especially the figure. The figure you can tell it's plastic. This looks a bit more wooden. And, and sounds a little bit more wooden as well. Well, so um, I'll start with with well, there's no articulation, of course. So I'll start with the opening of the doors. As you can see, it's blank inside, nothing in. I saw the that just there. It's totally blue. And this door doesn't have a clip on it. It has a button just here on the top, which goes in, which makes it click. I just show you. You can hear it click. That's alright. I'm glad they didn't do an insert because I'm not really fond on inserts particularly 
and it means you can open the doors a bit more as well and it went on to this card is also was used for Patrick Troughton as well where it was a bit where it didn't have the St. John's ambulance sign anymore and the door was shut like that because you see normally the, if you see a Patrick Troughton story apart from his early years you would start to use this door rather than this one I'll just put this off again and uh, it was used in John Pertwee stories in his very first series and then of course the fiberglass prop was changed and changed again and again and again I must say it is very nice I said it's a nice sculpt as well it's, it's got the mud on which I didn't know if they were keeping but it sort of it's, it's very hard to see on on my camera I'm sorry but you can see bits of the mud and dirt and you've got lighter blue on top just to make it look more wooden and there you've got the speaker if I just bring it back a bit if you're doing a far shot then you you can obviously have it on the side the speaker isn't particularly that noticeable on far away shots unless you bring it up closer you can clearly see but if I turn it to the side like that and you're doing one of the traditional shots like this you really can't tell it's there you can only just see the screw there, you can't see the clip on so so that's that's nice that they've added that on the because on the new series TARDIS it is very obvious sights there also you've got the little insert bit here and here goes round and around I'm starting to get used I started to get used to it as well also you've got the extended bits on the roof here and oh, got the detail on the lamp or the light with the the slicks going down there there's only three of them on the original prop not four just three it has the traditional sound effect as well if you put it down and take it up and on a take off the light still continues to flash except from on landing so that's all good so as well um, that's basically it for part one and because I don't want to run in 15 minutes otherwise you get bored so I'll see you in part two and for now goodbye